What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Plagiarizing another intro once again through the power of the internet. And today, I decided to upload an XCOM 2 uh, gameplay video. And li oh, that fucking music. I'm dun 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 fuck. I really love this. I. This fucking game, man. I really wish it ran better. It runs like shit on PS4. But that's what I get for being too broke to buy a, P a fucking PC. So, you know, I'll take what I can get. You know, it might crash here and there. It might lag, and you guys are gonna see it how fucking badly it runs soon enough. But, uh, you know, just don't worry about it. And don't worry about that fail scene you keep seeing on my, uh, my nickname for my character. That's sheerly there for no real reason that you should try to stop frame by frame to see if you can detect why I put fail in front of it or not because it's really you just don't want to know because I realized after making this video that I really don't like my uh my fucking nickname it was really I just kinda thought of it at a moment's notice and then I realized it's really not appropriate for uh, general audiences so uh, let's look at Jacob Emotionless Olsen here look how happy he is to be here man I got him with his machete top of the line carrying that Widowmaker ass for the world to see that's what I named his gun He's my, he's my ranger. He's my top ranger. Use him for all my melee needs. I mean, look how happy he is to be here, man. How can you not love that douchebag look? Aw, oh, wait till you see him with this armor on. He looks even better. Just exposes his pecs. Oh, yeah. He's really happy about that armor. Where am I going with this fucking video, man? I, I've got 34 minutes to cover here for nobody. Speaking of Jacob Emotionless Olsen, he's the person I would wish to make to watch this video because I want him to see what XCOM's all about. You know, he's not much of a strategy game guy, but you know, I'd like him to see what this game's all about while I fumble around the menu. I love making sure all my characters are uh, well equipped before a mission. It's important to me. I really don't want to have anyone die. I'm, I'm known to uh, restart from my last save at a moment's notice should anybody die maybe I'm a bitch maybe that's not how XCOM's meant to be played but god damn it I just I, I can't handle it I want to beat this game which I'm about to do so fuck it if it means I have to be a bitch because I'm scared that losing anyone will cost me the whole game I'll be a bitch because at the very least I want to beat it now that now that I've repeated myself and become leafy I'd like to talk a little bit about Leafy is here, if you will, for a minute. I don't want to go into too much detail, but anybody who happened, and I mean happened, because I don't know why anyone would watch this video or that video, but if you happened to watch my video where I tried to defend Leafy a long time ago when he first made his H3H3 Productions rant, wow, you know, I, I, made, a, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. A, a little bit of an oopsie, if you will. <laughs> because, at the time, I kind of liked Leafy. I won't deny it. I, I'd gotten bored with his videos, but I, I, li I liked what he represented. A douchebag making fun of people, just practicing his freedom of speech and pissing people off. But then, I discovered that there are YouTubers who are actually funny, who can also do that, like Filthy Frank iDubs, for example, and and many others. So um, qu I quickly realized that um, I defended somebody who wasn't funny for doing something that many YouTubers have already done a lot better, and uh, I started to feel a little shitty after that. But then, then he made all the rant videos. Oh my God, so many rant videos. Then I really felt like a dipshit. The, I never thought I'd be making this video, guys. I never thought I'd make a fourth Keemstar rant. I swear to God, guys. I especially didn't think I'd make it after my first one got 10 million views. I swear, guys. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Oh, let's look at everybody in the ship really quick. Mmm. Gripping story. I agree. 
I agree. With extremely laggy, uh, prejudice. I mean, the, the fucking... Literally, they don't even... Uh, God, I'm leafy! Fuck, I shouldn't say literally. But, they're, you know... They're literally lagging in this thing. I mean, it's not a joke, that's a proper use of the word. They, they, the frames drop in the ship. Like, right before it loads in and right when it first begins. It's, it's so bad. So I got my whole cast of Final Fantasy characters with Jacob mixed into the mix. And we're gonna see how much ass we can kick. Oh, the load. I've almost forgot to talk about the load times. The fucking load times in this game. Wait till you see at the end of this gameplay how long it takes after the mission. Like, it takes a minute in the beginning, but it takes a real hot minute at the end, man. I fucking hate the load times. Yeah, yeah, kill them all. I actually really fuck up in this gameplay pretty hard. You're gonna see for yourselves. <sighs> so, back back to Leafy. Yeah, I wanted to apologize for ever defending Leafy because I realized that I kind and I realized that I fucked up because when the rant started, which I mentioned, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I guess I just wanted to defend freedom of speech and I, I kind of fucked up and acted like an over entitled American, like I guess I am. And Jesus, man, if only I'd known just how bad he was gonna get how repetitive how retarded and oh god I wouldn't have defended him but that iDubs video then when I saw that I'd already been pretty done with Leafy I felt like a pretty big fuck up for liking him so that iDubs video came at the perfect time in my life I was oh god I was so sick of Leafy and when he f made those points man he made those points hard. I'll never forget it, man. Like, he literally, he literally, he literally, oh, it's just, mm. Anyway, I've spoke my piece about that. I don't have any good commentary to make on this video. I didn't, I couldn't think of anything beforehand. I just wanted to make XCOM gameplay, because I like promoting good games, and since this game's out on PS4 now, uh, maybe you should buy it, whoever you are. I have to. I mean, that really is patronizing, because nobody is going to fucking... Uh, oh, I say that every video, too. I'm like Leafy you now. I say, oh, nobody's going to want... But it really, I mean, it's fucking true. Nobody cares. I just... Wow, that was amazing. But I just... I feel the need to say it, because sometimes I think too highly of myself. I think, you know... I r oh wait a minute here's where I fuck up yep Jacob there his fucking ass was sticking out like a sore thumb so I ruined my uh stealth and then you know he eats shit Irvine here <laughs> I that's amazing that Leaf or not fucking Leafy Jacob ruined stealth but they don't even target him they target the man who's just helplessly standing there thinking he was still stealthy oh. Uh, Jacob, man, you fucked me in a couple of these missions. You fucked me pretty hard. So yeah, didn't I don't have any reason to make videos or do anything. I haven't made a video in a long time because I pretty much, uh, I pretty much grew out of it. I had no commentary really left to make about anything I really cared about, and no video game that I really felt passionate about to make a video on. So, I just haven't made anything. I wanted to make a video on Hawken, a little uh, free-to-play shitty mech game that I thought looked pretty cool for a minute, and then I lost the footage because my internet is so bad, it literally shit out while I was uh, uploading it, and it corrupted the video, and I didn't... St because I really don't put a lot of thought into my YouTube channel, I didn't save any of the video clips I'd used to make it. So I couldn't re-upload it because PS4 has like no gigabyte hard drive. It's pathetic. So I almost always try to delete videos as soon as I make them because I, my hard drive can't fucking take it. So yeah, that's that. Let, let's get look at this sweet chain shot. 
Get fucked, you stupid mech. Oh, that felt good. I love doing that chain shot abilities to the uh, armored enemies in this game. Because the ar that is the really, like, game-changing mechanic, I'd say, that XCOM 2 has brought to the table. Is that the enemies have armor. Like, instead of them just having more health and more and more health, depending on what enemy type they are, they can have more armor, which can make them a, be a bigger threat, because most weapons, um, by default, will do less damage because of the armor, by however many points of armor you have. So if you've got four points of armor, then the damage your weapon does is reduced by four, which is fucking horrible. It, it, some of the enemies in this game that have, like, 20 hit points and f eight points of armor... There's like no weapons that can barely damage them, and it makes you want to kill yourself. So my favorite, the most satisfying thing is to have one of your heavy units uh, have the shredder ability where their gun shreds armor, and then just give them the best fucking, <laughs> what's it called, heavy gunner weapon, whatever the fuck, and just mow them down with a chain shot, because if you have the some of the better, uh, heavy weapons in the game it'll just destroy their armor, it'll shit through it and then then they're not so tough anymore then you got the Jacob Olsen emotionless Olsens that can go in and just slash the shit out of them at that point and it's it's beautiful man I love this game I really like strategy games that's why I've always liked turn based games over action RPGs and stuff it's cause it gives you a little time to think before you act and sometimes, like Final Fantasy, you know, it's not—it's kind of, it's not really strategy. It's more just like raping the X button. But you know, I'd li I like to pretend that there's strategy. That's what Final Fantasy is to me. Let's pretend that there's a strategy element involved. And eventually, you know, it uh, it gets pretty strategic. You know, in in later game, it can be pretty. But uh, I mean, really, a lot of the times, it's 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 not that strategic. Is that... Can I say that about Final Fantasy? Is, is that like a... Will that get me shit on? Because I love it. I mean, it's like my favorite f franchise. It is my favorite franchise. But, you know... Let's be real. The strategy is... uh, it's, it's, it's implied. It's very implied strategy. But this... This is a real man strategy game right here. This gives you all the strat that you could ever want. Just using your Reaper's Doom ability on your... Ranger class and just going in and mowing people down with your machete Because that's the ability It's just see look at that get fucked loser and now you're burning and you will probably die next turn except uh, Spoiler alert he doesn't because I rewatched the gameplay see Look at that shithead with one HP thinking he's so cool But Jacob Jacob will take care of him you can be sure emotionless here he'll he'll get him Oh boy, so he's ripping through shit and takes some cover. What is he gonna do? Let me guess. Ruin my day. Boom! Man, that's ruining my day. Mmm, I hate... I fucking hate the Andromedons in this game. That is the worst enemy type. That shitty ass acid bullshit. They have so much health and armor, they're one of those shitty enemies that has a thousand hit points and no... And just... Mmm, <laughs> look at that acid shit, man. Fuck that acid. It shreds through all, any unit of yours that you tried to give armor. Armor in this game on your units is pointless. Almost every enemy's gun practically eats through it. And... Mmm, I hate these things. Watch him. Oh, get fucked. See, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. He, he missed. You missed it point blank, Jacob. With a machete. And he also missed. Oh, that's right. You're untouchable. That's my uh, that's my Jacob. You know, Jacob. Whenever you get a kill in a round, the next round, the first attack on you is guaranteed to miss. But not that attack, because <laughs> that was not the first attack. But you see, you, you know, that's how cool you are. When you slice somebody's, you slice slice somebody's head off. You literally, I'm leafy. I'm literally leafy. You literally cannot be hurt anymore you're like you're a diva you're like, I can't take damage it's not good for me I, I don't like it and that's you man you just it's you 
You're so cool, man. I know you don't you might not think it, but that, that's it's really cool. I'll uh, watch this shit. Face off and shoot you and it'll do nothing because you're a shitty armor fuck and then I don't even think he actually shot at anything there but apparently he killed something somewhere mmm oh this Sandromedon's gonna get shot after I eat through his armor <coughs> hopefully we'll just split see how it goes you know just cuz it's an 85 percent chance to hit doesn't mean it's gonna hit right Yeah. See what I mean? Now that is the shit next com that will make you kill yourself. Some of the, that's what sucks is that the game is so strategic and fun, but when shit doesn't hit when you're really counting on it to, it really it, it's like it makes you so dead inside. You could die inside and not care. It's oh, I don't know. That's really great commentary, Nick. That's the qualityest of fucking commentary. You could literally die inside and not care. Repeat yourself again, like Leafy, and... Just kill this fuck. Good shot, Jacob. Fuck that guy with your shotgun. Oh yeah, you don't only have a melee weapon, Jacob. You also have a shotgun, your other favorite weapon type. It was built for you. And look at this shit. That's this part. Now this shit, that's the other thing about the Andromeda. They're hard enough by default. But the fact that they come back after they die just to walk around spilling ass all over the world, it really upsets me. The Andromedon enemy triggers me. If there's one enemy type in this game I really don't want to deal with, it's that one. Mm, let's see, can I saturate both these fucks? Nope. I, I was trying to be strategic there, but it failed, so I'm just going to blow his penis off. I think he'll appreciate it. Do it, Squall. Oh, yeah, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Yeah, I know you're black. I I get it. Just shut up. That that's racist, isn't it? That's not cool. To say. Now I'm gonna fumble around for an hour trying to decide what the best course of healing is, because I I care just that much. So. Let me pause for a second because I think my commentary bubble is about to expire. And then let me try to think of something to talk about in the second half for a second. What is your favorite Star Trek spin off series? Or just this the original one, maybe? What's your favorite Star Trek series? You know, I, that's a good question. That's a quality ass question. You know? Because they're so, they're all so good, you know. You got, you got your, your next generationers who, you know, they like the look of Captain Picard. You know, you got that going, and then you got the Deep Space Nine, the first colored captain. You know, it's some real deep shit. And then you got Voyager, which w I've never watched, but it's something. I've oh, look at him get fucked. Yeah, they could be really good. You never know. My favorite is Deep Space Nine because I love the fact. They decided, you know, it was the natural evolution of the franchise, you know. Originally, you just, you, you fly around in a ship, but no, now, everyone comes to you. You're on a space station, and there's shit going down. Get, watch this. Eat it. Uh, he's literally eating my gun right now. Eating of my gun. I love it, man. Oh, what are you gonna try to do? Some kinky shit? Oh, that's pretty kinky, all right. So yeah, you know, I really had to think about that one. You know, I just in this next commentary bubble, that was that was what I came up with. I hope you can appreciate. Oh, skit, boom, <clears throat> Jacob, you're my favorite soldier. You're the first one who hit Colonel. See, you're untouchable. You can't be hurt because you burned that loser when you meleeed that guy and he burned to death. That was your kill. So you don't get hurt by him anymore. See? Oh, get him, Terra. Get him. Fuck him. Oh. I don't know why I decided to aim at the zombie. Because once that sectoid dies, um, you know, doesn't really matter. But, you know, it works out. See? Got two birds with one stone. Two kills. 
you know, even though she's already a colonel, you know, I just, XP, I guess, is the name of the game. <sighs> what in the fuck is going on, man? Do I really even want to make this video? Should I even upload it? Would anybody care if it never was uploaded? I know I would. And if I don't care, that's... Oh boy, that's a that's a sign. What else is in the news? What's something? The national debate? No, let's not go there because I didn't watch it, and it's probably not a good place to go. But that, mm, okay. Let's see. Um, I I, mmm mmm. I got one. I got a Super Nintendo recently. You know, I've been collecting consoles and shit. Well, eventually, I came across a Super Nintendo in my travels, and. I picked up some quality ass titles. I discovered that there are some games that I still really enjoy. Even though they're not from my generation, they're even older than me. So I would say they've probably aged incredibly well. Um, I played Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which uh, a lot of people seem to like. But I've heard some people criticize it pretty harsh, like uh, Mr. JonTron. He calls it like the most overrated game of all time, which is... I gotta tell you something, JonTron. Just listen to me for a minute. I was born and raised on the PlayStation 1 and forward. I never had a Nintendo 64. I have gotten a 3DS, and I've played the remake of Ocarina of Time. And I can say, after playing A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time... A Link to the Past is the better game. Why I would say that and piss everyone off is beyond me, but I really have to say, A Link to the Past, in my opinion, is the better Zelda game. Just because it feels like the developers had extreme limitations, and the way that they worked around it was so creative to me that it has much more charm than Ocarina. Just because I've, I've played games that are you know 3d and it's it's easier to make a 3d game than it is to make a 2d game realistically but like the way you can like jump in a link to the past it's not even a 3d world but you have this beautiful illusion of 3d where you can jump off of things but it's not actually jumping really it's just the programming is set up so that the enemies that are supposed to be below you cannot be attacked until you've made a movement that makes it appear as though it's just mmm it's so it's brilliant programming and I just I enjoyed it more it was kinda the combat was more straightforward and in your face and it was just if I felt like it was easier to get into and I, I loved Ocarina don't get me wrong don't kill me I loved it I still play it I haven't even beaten it yet I'm just I'm at the shadow temple and I'm stuck no I'm not Oh no, now I remember, I'm in the Gerudo Valley with that stupid hookshot shit and the- Oh, and f freeing the gay carpenters and- I hate that sequence. And that's why I don't really like Ocarina as much, because there's not any sequence I hated in A Link to the Past. But th I've had a few moments in Ocarina where I've been like, this fucking sucks, this isn't fun. And- uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a loser, but... I, you know, that's my opinion. Go fucking crucify me. I dare you. You know, I don't care anymore, man. You're gonna offend and You're gonna triggly puff someone with something. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, Link the Past is the better game. Kill me. It's my opinion. I'm wrong. I know. Just... I'm trying to fill in commentary time here, people. Can you give me a break? You non-existent people. That I'm arguing with myself about. Just... Oh, God, <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Oh my God, man. I'm making videos through Share Factory on the PlayStation 4. You know, I learned that you apparently can make thumbnails somehow through the Share Factory. My, someone told me that there's a way to do it. I, it beats the fuck out of me how to do it, but it's, it's apparently a way. And... All I've ever seen is that you can generate a thumbnail, quote unquote, excuse me for hitting my mic as hard as I could, where, but it doesn't, it doesn't generate it for YouTube. The thumbnail generates for ShareFactory. So I can pause any moment in this video, and that can be the thumbnail, 
but that's the extent of it. And then it won't show up on YouTube. It's just in my little share factory section. That's what the thumbnail will be for me to see. No one else. So that's the extent of my knowledge. Because I would imagine you'd need like Adobe fucking everything in order to make a competent thumbnail. And I, who knows though, you know, I'm just... I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me, I'm just a poor boy. Uh, wait, is that- will that get a copyright strike? If I keep singing it? Or could that be a parody? I don't think so. I better stop. So, now that I can't have any fun there. Uh, another game I got on the Super Nintendo. That I had played before, but I played clearly a shitty version of it was Final Fantasy 6 or Final Fantasy 3 as it is known and I'm very lucky the only reason I got that Super Nintendo was because I found a copy of Final Fantasy 6 3 and I really felt a disturbance you know I did it's not like I got a deal on it like I found it I went to a retail store a really shitty retail store and paid a shitty retail price for it of like 50 60 dollars I don't remember it was retail but I am such a fan of the franchise that I felt like I I was willing to sacrifice my asshole for that game maybe I'm wrong for that but I couldn't resist so I got it and then I, my mom got the Super Nintendo for me, which is really pathetic now that I think about the way it sounds that my mommy got me a console, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still stay at home, you know, just because I graduated high school doesn't mean I have any way to leave my house, you know, I don't have a car, I live out in the most bumfuck place in Florida, so I, there's nowhere I can really walk to, you know, the closest civilization is like three miles away. And it's kind of hard to uh, to walk that distance and back and do any kind of semblance of anything. So I kind of have to have a vehicle, but I don't. So, you know. Oh, and that's the end of the mission right there. With the dead sectopod. Hmm. You sure did. Congrats. Congrats. It sure was, and I didn't even... Now watch this slow time. Because this isn't cut. Watch this. The only... I pause it for a second. Because the clip ran out of time. And I instantly restarted loading. Like, you know... What's the word? Capturing again. So there's actually a few seconds of this load time that you're not even going to see. Because I had to take the time for to recapture again. And then that time, the game was still going still loading I watch this shit does it already feel like it's been a long time it's not even close to done see that's where it cut you could probably hear it and it was still going though it's not like I you know just stopped and then took footage from some other fucking thing to try to make it look longer I f this is it this is all of it and every mission I swear to god it feels like it gets longer it's like the game has more process I remember I went I turned my headset off went to go take a shit took a bad shit like a really long shit had to wipe a lot and when the time I came back it was still loading it was still loading it was only it like finally finished like a couple seconds after I got back but it was still loading like in the time it took me to take that long shit that is how bad the load times in this game are like I'm not joking like this is a this isn't acceptable right like you seen this a am I just crazy or is that the worst load time in any video game every time I think that the game crashed and I'm scared shitless that everything I just did was for nothing you see this is 30 minutes of gameplay here I didn't feel like having to restart it all I did it all luckily in one take you don't know how horrified I was that the mission was gonna go horribly wrong and then I was either gonna have to make a new video or just upload the shit I had because I'm Obviously, I didn't want to save if I 
lost horribly, but I didn't want you guys to think I was some kind of fucking loser. And I just want I just showed you my best. This was just one random mission I decided to record because I was having so much fun with it. And I was hoping to God it would go well and I could do it in one take. And it did. I got really lucky is really the way to put it. I got very strategically lucky because it went horribly. The fact that I lost my concealment, I, I thought for sure I was going to get ass raped. But no, uh, we came out pretty good. It is still loading. I'm even surprised. Like, even I'm r listening to myself talk here and having to go through this shit really puts in perspective how bullshitly long this is. Oh my god. Fucking finish. That's what she said. But, ugh. That's a shitty joke. Why would you fucking say that? You know what? I'm gonna have to cut out my commentary for a second. Because I'm thinking I'm about to run out again. Give me a fucking sec. Okay. Back. Still loading. Ugh. But yeah. Final Fantasy VI, man. It's a three. It's... It's a quality-ass title. The problem was I played it... I, the first time I played it and beat it, oh, it's fucking done. Oh, God, look how happy. The best part about this game is that if the mission goes perfect and nobody dies, everyone looks like they just ate a big fucking ass slice of ass. Like, look at Cloud. He's about to pop into frame. He's like, mm. Yeah, so she said, I, with your tongue is in the ass, man. See, it just, mm. Everyone is so happy. It makes me happy seeing how happy they are and s let's see I didn't read the shit Jacob did the most damage and sucked the most dick that's okay well, too late <sighs> oh now we gotta go through this load screen it's not as bad but I mean that's how much loading it took just to show how happy everyone was that they won the mission and the game didn't crash and then we gotta go through this load screen to render everything else and it'll have no frames, like it always does. <sighs> and then it'll land, and then you can watch everyone look like they've eaten six tons of ass. Look at how hurt Squall and Irvine here are. They just fucking... That's my other favorite part about this sequel, is that everyone can shows emotion depending on how hurt they are. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna fan the hammer here, or fan fire, whatever the fuck. Get that ability going. Freya's still going. S Cloud's still going. Jacob's fucked. Yep. And I didn't read the rest of it, so... Oh, oh, you do get... Okay, I just realized you actually get the loot, even if if the mission ends. You don't have to... Okay. Just a side note. So I hope you guys enjoyed this shitty-ass video, and Cloud uh, Squall is reduced well. And I'll see you guys some other time. And stay after the shitty credits, because I have some sick-ass Overwatch... Uh, play of the game shit I want you to see. Enjoy. Yeah.